Well, the end of the year is approaching. And by that, I mean the end of January because I'm always late with these. And by that, I mean it's the start of February because I got distracted by some family stuff and other things. But that is okay. At the end of the year, many people highlight their favorite shows from the year, but then the shows just are quickly forgotten, at least like 95% of the time, as everyone gets obsessed with the Dragon Lollies or Yuri that is airing in the winter. So in my next couple videos, I want to take a step further back to look at all the shows that may have been popular at the time, but have since been forgotten, or maybe they were never that popular, or maybe they were really popular and still are, so any shows that I want basically. Either way, they are shows that I think still hold up reasonably well today, even though several years have passed. This video is actually inspired by my friend Mighty Pie, who said something like seasonal shows are normally quickly forgotten, especially after the year is over, so I want to challenge that trend. And not just because I'm still working my way through 2017 anime. Only 10 shows to go at least. So let us get on with the list. Do keep in mind that this is based off my own taste, so you might not like everything, but my goal is to hopefully highlight at least one show that you'll enjoy that you might have otherwise missed. Also, the list is unranked, just me going through all the seasons, though the first and last one do stand out, though we'll get to those soon. And by that I mean right now, because starting off at number one, we have From the New World, also known as Shinsekai Yori, and this is one of my favorite anime of all time. I really can't believe I haven't talked about more considering how much I like it, but it blows away everything else that I'm going to talk about today. It tells the story of a society in the future that lives a calm and simple life, distant from the technology that we have today, though the characters do have supernatural abilities. The world is filled with questions of how we got to have such a society, but more than that, what happens when such a perfect society starts to crack? It's also the story of humanity as a whole, and it is chilling how accurate the show's portrayal feels. If you have not seen this show yet, just go forget the rest of this list. Go watch it right now. Seriously, it is just that amazing. Number two, Attack on Titan. Well, I didn't say I was just going for obscure shows. And while Titan might be overhyped to some degree, the thrilling story both season one and season two offer are things I don't think I could forget. So if you haven't somehow already seen one of the most popular anime ever, you really should go fix that. Number three, Free. Another show that really needs no introduction. But I have to say that I did enjoy uh, this show a lot more than I thought I would. It was fun seeing a lot of the Moe tropes kind of flipped, but beyond that there was some interesting drama and I liked the sports parts of the show as well. At least more than most sports anime that I have tried. I still need to see beyond the first season, but I'm sure I will enjoy it once I do. Number 4. Hyperdimensional Neptune. Or is it Hyperdimensional Neptunia? I forget. <laughs> fun things are fun, and so is this anime. Hyperdimensional Neptune is a parody of all the fun video game cliches, and it is able to really embrace all the ridiculousness of its concept, video games, and even anime as a whole. This is a show that's hard for me to come up with reasons for you to watch it because of how it really doesn't have much substance or all those other things that make a show critically acclaimed. But if you want something to just sit back and enjoy, I think you'll enjoy Neptunia quite a lot. Number 5, Kill a Kill, yet another one of my favorite anime of all time, and one of the few that I'd say goes beyond what the hype could have prepared me for. Kill a Kill is a completely absurd, over-the-top, ridiculous anime that takes every trope I love about shonen anime in general and then takes it to the extreme. There is not an anime I've seen that better delivers on just pure fun than Kill a Kill, and that alone would get me to recommend it. But it doesn't just stop there. It tells a genuinely interesting story of revenge as Ryuku tries to unravel the mystery about her father's murder. And to top it all off, you have all the themes about family, tradition, and finding your place in the tapestry of life all woven in. There is no other show quite like Kill a Kill, so if you have already seen Shinsake Yori, make this one the next on your list. Number 6. My mental choices are completely interfering with my school romantic comedy. This is a light novel adaptation, but now we are moving back to just pure ridiculous fun shows without much substance because, well, they're fun. Mental Choices makes fun of all the harems by setting up everything like normal, but then having the main character occasionally be forced to choose between two typically very bad things to happen to him, so hilarity ensues. Well, sometimes there are three choices, and, well, choice number three can be hard to forget. You know who you are. Number 7. 
Noragami. Now we move on to 2014 when I started following more seasonal shows beyond those like super hyped ones or those I randomly watch on Crunchyroll and found Noragami. Noragami is a show about gods, spirits, and the humans caught in the conflict. It is also filled with a lot of comedy, character growth, and also some solid action. It isn't something overly new or different for fans of action shown in anime, but it is one of my favorites of the genre to come out in the past few years, so if you like shows like this then, well, I think you'll like this one as well. Number 8, Haikyuu. Sports anime have never really been my thing, because, well, sports as a whole don't appeal to me, so it's hard for me to care about characters playing sports. But Haikyuu is a notable exception because of how well it is able to hype up the matches. It is a story filled with underdogs striving to achieve greatness, characters learning to overcome weakness, and messages that inspire the viewer to work hard to achieve their dream. If you like volleyball or sports anime or just hyped action, Haikyuu really is something you should watch even if you aren't interested in the concept. Number 9, Celestial Method. Celestial Method, or Sora no Method, was the debut show from a little-known studio called 3 Hertz, though they have become more popular in the past couple of years for, well, good reason. Celestial Method tells the story of a girl moving back to her hometown, the friends that she lost, and this giant saucer that floats over the town. This is a show filled with beautiful visuals, and music allows this admittedly simple story about friendship to have an emotional impact. I can see why the show has been forgotten to time, but with the impact on me, it is not one that I forgot. So I figured it was worth including on the list, plus it's a complete show unlike the other one I was considering to put there in its place. Come on Trigger, I expect you to finish your shows. Plus, I like being able to look back and say that I liked this studio before it was cool. Not like that matters any. And number 10. Well, it wasn't intentional, but I did kind of just say the best for last. Well, by some definition of best at least. And by that I mean my definition of best. Now, you might be wondering what show that could be. And if so, then you really don't know me well. Because it is Ori Twin Tales Ninarimasu. Now, what haven't I already said about this modern masterpiece of amazingness? It is a story simply about a guy who becomes a magical girl to save the world from aliens who want to steal the love of twin tails from the world. But it is also about following your passions, staying true to what you believe, but also the danger when the world comes to corrupt what you love. Growing up following your dreams can be hard, but those who have twin tails in their heart have the soul of a dreamer and will achieve their goals no matter how absurd or impossible they may seem. And that, my dear viewers, is 10 anime from 2013 and 2014 that I feel deserve remembering. Are there any shows that you feel like I missed? I know there are shows I feel like I missed. Looking through Mal for these two years, I saw more than a couple I really wanted to watch, though I just haven't yet, but maybe one day. But for now, time to go watch more of random anime from 2017. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time.